Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. Today we are going to go over another LED video. These specific sets are from these guys at WinPower, so shout out to them for sending these out. These are actually going to be going on my sister's Honda Civic, and I've done a few videos of different manufacturers of these LEDs, just to kind of show you guys the differences, how they install, how they fit, how they work. So this, like I said, is from WinPower. And this is specifically for a 2014 Honda Civic, but most of the Honda Civics are the same brands. And if you look on the side, or models, I mean, you can see all the different types of bulbs they make. Now, 9005, you can see it's marked off there in the box. That is your high beam. And if you look at this one, the 9006 right there with the little dot is your low beam. And now the reason I pointed that out is because when you come in the box here, you can see physically they look the same. Same color, same design, everything. The only difference, if you look closely, we'll pull one of these out. Now I don't have gloves. These do come with gloves and a couple little zip ties just to tie up the wire when you're done. Don't touch the LED bulb. If you hold the bottom here with your hands, that's fine. You're not going to wreck it. But if you touch that LED bulb, it's going to burn out a lot quicker. But, as I was saying, you can see this one has your little rubber washer here to seal it up once it's in the car. So the one type has black. You can see this is what it looks like, your LED there. And the only difference between this and the other set is, you can see, everything looks the same. Same color, same wire, but the little washer is red on these ones. So if you were to rip these all out of the box, maybe you don't know what's what. If you're installing this exact set, red and black, that's your difference. And again, if you look, the black, the way you can tell on the side of the box here, flip it up, 9005. So the black is your 9005's high beams, red 9006 low beam. And now taking a closer look at these, you can see it is just this aluminum housing here. And on the end, the inside, like most of these LEDs nowadays, they got the little propeller in there connected to your wire, your little box here. And then it's just a direct fit to plug into the harness that's attached to the vehicle. And when these are on, I tell you guys this in all my LED videos, usually when you turn off the car, that little propeller in there that's keeping this thing cool will keep spinning for a minute or two. So after you turn off your car, if you hear a weird a weird noise from under your hood, chances are this thing's just cooling itself off. All right, so now with the magic of YouTube, we'll get my two cars out of here, we'll get the Civic inside, and we'll get putting these on the car. All right, so Civic's in here. I got it taken apart a little bit. I've done the driver's side already. It's easier if you move the battery out of the way, get the battery out of your way. Just two clamps, disconnect it, pull it out of the way. You can get your hand inside to reach the bulbs. This side, this tube I thought had to come out. It sits right in here. It goes down to your washer fluid. It's just a fill nozzle. You can wiggle it out. Reason I didn't need this is because these bulbs they actually sent only work for the high beams. The way these plastic moldings are where you pop it in and twist it to turn it on. On these cars, the high beam and low beam are different for some reason. So, these only work on the high beams. So I'll put it in a little video right here to show you the difference side by side of high beam to low beam, at least to get a little bit of an idea of what these look like. And then once they're both on, I'll get it all hooked up and we'll take it outside and show you just how high and far these high beams can light up the road. One thing to keep note of, you can see this does actually say positive and negative on here. So this will basically clip right into the harness from the other bulb here. So if you don't know what side positive and negative is, because this doesn't really say anything on it, if you look here, your black wire underneath, black is always negative, white positive. So put your positive to the left-hand side in this case, and negative to the right. It'll pop right in. Make sure it goes past this little clip catcher or whatever you want to call it the snap part make sure when you push it in that 
the little knob there goes past that point and it'll hook right behind here and that's what keeps this thing from disconnecting when you're driving around and again now that it's plugged in you can see that clip is down and holding the little nub that was on this part so now all you got to do is grab yourself a couple of those zip ties strap this up somewhere so it's not bouncing around and wobbling like that all right so as for the install that's as easy as it gets just pop them in twist them on and plug them in the lights themselves like i said these ones did not end up working i don't know if that was miscommunication between me i don't remember what i told them to send me but these are the 9005s. I think you need an H11 bulb. I wasn't sure what the difference was, but I'm assuming it is actually the piece that connects to the light, like the little twisting part here. Where this is big and plastic, the actual driving lights is the same version of this, but it's a little metal one that goes around just the bottom of the light there. So a little bit different, didn't end up working but the high beams did work. So let's get out there and see just how well they light up the road. All right, so here is a little comparison. This is your just normal driving lights. It's kind of good that the other ones didn't work out because now you can see just how much brighter and I'm sure, like I always say in these videos, it doesn't show up in the camera like it does in your eyes. But from way back there, these lights, they kind of light up anything that's reflective, like signs and stuff. But for actual sight down the road, these LEDs, you can see just how much brighter they are. And then here we go. This is just, again, your normal standard high or standard driving lights, your low beams. Dark road, there's no street lights on here. And now when you pop on the high beams, lights up the trees, lights up the houses, lights up everything. This is kind of a rough road. It's probably pretty noisy. Get a little smoother section here, but you can just see, hopefully this is picking up, like I said in the camera, just how much brighter these lights actually are. And one last time, just for good measure, standard low beam driving headlights in the dark, wind power LED high beams. So if you're doing any night driving out on the highways, you need your high beams, definitely recommend giving these guys a try. I did check the email. It was my bad. They sent the ones that I told them I needed, but I didn't realize that the type of bulbs on this exact model and make of the Civic were different. So as long as you order the right ones, they do sell them in doubles, just like you saw. And other than that, they fit work. They fit perfectly. So shout out to wind power for the test of the bulbs. Hopefully this helps you out if you're looking for your own and let me know. If you need anything else on the Honda Civics, I can make a video for you guys. And make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all the other content we got on the channel. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll catch you in the next one.